Welcome back. This is part two of Rogue's Instruction Online Music Education. To start, you will need the Background Guitar MP3 and Harry Potter audiobook files for part one, and the Commercials VO Scripts document and the Piano Upbeat and Happy Jingle audio files for part two. In this lesson, we'll be doing two assignments. First, we will edit some audiobook narration with some music demonstrating how to import audio files, move the tracks around in Audacity, use the auto duck effect, and fade out. Second, we will do some commercial voiceovers and mix in background music. I'll demonstrate how to record your voice again reading from a script and use auto duck. So we have our Audacity already open. Let's go to File Open. And we're going to start with our Harry Potter Prisoner of Azkaban. Here is our Harry Potter Prisoner of Azkaban. It's actually the very beginning of the book. So let's take a listen and see what it sounds like currently. Harry Potter was a highly unusual boy in many ways. For one thing, he hated the summer holidays more than any other time of year. For another, he really wanted to do his homework, but was forced to do it in secret in the dead of night. And he also happened to be a wizard. So we're going to add some background music to this. Uh, nothing uh, really extraordinary, but just to give it, let it lay down a little bit of a, an atmosphere to it. So let's go and uh, find that. So in order to add another file to this, we're going to go to File, Import, Audio. And we're going to grab the background the guitar. So we can already see that this is a big change. This file, all of these uh, shapes in here are very, very wide. They're very, very tall. And uh, it's, it's definitely a lot bigger than what's happening up here with the Harry Potter audiobook. So if we take a listen, um, it's going to be pretty obvious that we have some work to do. Harry Potter was a highly So that's pretty obvious. The uh, background guitar is definitely not in the background. It's very, very loud compared to everything else. So let's make some slight changes uh, to get started with. Looking over on the side, here we have some volume controls or the gain controls. If we go towards the minus, it gets quieter. If we go towards the plus, it gets a little bit louder. And we're gonna do a little bit of both. So for the Harry Potter vocals, we're gonna just move the gain up a little bit. Let's say to plus four. Let's move the background down. Let's say it's about negative five. And let's see how that sounds. Harry Potter was a highly unusual boy in many ways. For one thing, he hated the summer holidays. All right, I can already hear the talking a lot easier uh, in comparison to this background guitar. We can do a little bit more still. Um, I think would be uh, a, a good choice musically would be to have the music start and then maybe like a second or two later, the uh, talking would start. So we're gonna use what's called the time shift tool. So up here, we have these uh, six icons. We're gonna grab this one. It's a left and right arrow. We'll select that and then we'll go down and we will just move this Harry Potter over just a little bit so that the music really has time to get going before the talking starts. Let's go back to our uh, selection tool, the one that looks like a capital letter I, and now we're going to make some more changes to it. We need to have the music, this background music, on top. So we're going to go to background over here. On the left side, we have this down arrow, open menu, and we'll go to move track to top. Now we have our background guitar on the top, and our voice, our vocals, our audiobook on the bottom. We're going to apply an effect to it. So let's double click the background guitar. So everything gets uh, is, is highlighted in the background. We'll go to effect and auto duck. This demonstrates what's going to be happening. When there isn't talking going on, the music will be at normal volume. Anytime the music happens, the volume will drop down and then sustain at this lower level. And then when the talking stops, it'll go back up and sustain at the new higher level. We don't need to change this around a whole lot, so let's just hit OK and see what happens. 
All right, big change here. Uh, let's take a listen and see how things sound currently. Harry Potter was a highly unusual boy in many ways. For one thing, he hated the summer holidays more than any other time of year. For another, he really wanted to do his homework, but was forced to do it in secret in the dead of night. And he also happened to be a wizard. It was nearly midnight, and he was lying on his stomach in bed, the blankets drawn right over his head like a tent. Okay, that sounds a lot better right now. Let's take a look at the end of our file. On this side, we have a lot of music that we haven't had any need for. So let's select all this all the way to the end. Let's try that again. And hit delete. Now I want to see the entire file across the entire screen. So I'll hit control or command F that will fill the screen. And just gives you a little bit more details. You're looking at the entire file here. What I think would make it a little bit nicer at the end, let's listen here about 45 seconds in and uh, let's hear the ending of this track. Completely pointless. Discuss. Not too bad, but I think we could have a little bit more of a fade out here at the end. So let's take the last few seconds and go to Effect Fade Out. And that's going to make it quieter and quieter and quieter until it fades to nothing. Let's hear it now. Discuss. There we go. Much nicer sound. Okay, that should do it for this file. If you still want to make some more changes, just follow what your ears are saying. You might want to nudge this one down a little bit more with the gain. Uh, bring the volume up with the gain here a little bit more as well. Uh, just to kind of make it sound a little bit nicer. So uh, it's your choice, but always think what makes it sound the most musical. Once you're done that, file, save project as, and then we will write our name at the end of this. And then file, export as wave, and save. And we have our audio file that we can upload and submit and share with whomever we would like. Next, we're, let's close these files so that we can work on our new project. We're going to start our second half of the project. Uh, so let's go to File, make a new project, and then let's load in our, uh, our next sound. So let's go to Import Audio, and let's choose Happy Jingle, File, Import, Audio, and we'll choose Piano. And then the last one, Import, Audio, Upbeat. We're going to be making a commercial. So let's get a sample of what kind of background music we can, we can use for our different uh, commercial choices here. So let's hear this first one. This is Happy. So we're going to click Solo and then take a listen for maybe five or ten seconds. The second one is this piano. Let's listen to this. Okay, and then finally upbeat. So now we're going to be picking from one of these, but before we pick, let's take a listen, or before we pick, let's actually take a look at our commercials. So here we are in our Audacity Projects file. There is this commercial VO scripts file. It's a Word document, so let's double click and open it up. Okay, we have uh, about 20 different commercials here to choose from. We're going to practice saying one, and once we're comfortable practicing it, uh, we're going to record ourselves uh, speaking it. So let's take a look at we'll do Nestle Treasures. So this is where I'm going to practice. Nestle Treasures. 
Indulging yourself has its charm. Creamy chocolate, luscious fillings. Consider them a gift to yourself. Nestle Treasures, from you to you. That's nice and easy. It's short, and I can say that well, uh, as well as I can. I'm not a professional VO artist. So let's take this file and read it into our Audacity. All right, here we are back in our Audacity. So let's uh, decide which one we want to use. I think I might use the Piano VO, which again sounds like this. And since I'm using this one, I don't need the other one, so I'm going to X these out and leave just this one up here. Now I'm going to move this over so I have a little bit of time in the beginning. And I'm going to get ready to uh, record the vocal part. So I'm going to hit Shift R to start the recording and then switch back to my commercial scripts and then just read it straight from there. So again, Shift R will start recording on a brand new track and won't overwrite anything that we already have up here on the piano stuff. So Shift R. Nestle Treasures. Indulging yourself has its charm. Creamy chocolate. Luscious fillings. Consider them a gift to yourself. Nestle Treasures. From you to you. That should do it. Let's take a look at how we did here. So uh, I'll turn off solo and I'm going to move my music back to the beginning. Let's take a listen. Nestle Treasures, indulging yourself has its charm. Creamy chocolate, luscious fillings, consider them a gift to yourself. Nestle Treasures, from you to you. Okay, and I'm going to cut it right around there. So I'm going to select everything from this point off and delete it. And I'll delete this stuff down here as well. And then I won't really have to do a lot of audio ducking for this. Maybe I'll just do a little bit. So let me, I have to make sure that the piano is up top and the vocals are on the bottom. Double click, effect, auto duck. And let me just move this up a little bit. I won't have to do a lot of it. Hit OK. And now let's listen. Nestle Treasures. Indulging yourself has its charm. Creamy chocolate, luscious fillings, consider them a gift to yourself. Nestle Treasures, from you to you. Just like we did with the previous assignment, there's a little bit of an abrupt ending on this. So let me just trim this and go to fade out. And that should make it sound even better. think that is a success. So after that point, uh, we will file, export as wave, and put my name on this one. And upload this uh, to Schoology for the assignment. That should do it for today. Uh, thank you for sticking with me, and I hope you learned something, and I'll be seeing you again soon. Thank you very much.